So my friends, this is the second part of a video tutorial about motif, beautiful motif Kayana. And we start to create second part like this. We are working with, with second base. We started from two single crochet around the arch. Now single crochet to the top of this double crochet of previous row. And also I want to say in the beginning, so don't forget you can download schemes and also instructions in English. Everything is for free on my Patreon page. Link you will find below this video. The first link um, you need to follow by this link. You will go directly to the post with all information. This post is open for everyone. You can uh, read information there. You will see link to download PDF file with colored schemes and instructions. And also you will see there are two links to watch two video tutorials. Also, if you are watching this YouTube video, uh, link for first part you will find below in description to this video. And uh, in total, this tutorial has two parts, two video, uh, video tutorials, yes. And also, Patreon page, uh, there uh, you need to visit this uh, page by using link and there you will be able to download schemes and instructions. Everything is for free. I made high quality tutorial with colored step by step schemes and with instructions. And right now I try to explain everything during these two videos. Yes, and you can watch um, these two parts as many times as you need. So this is all, all information just for you, just to explain how to get this tutorial, how to download everything. So uh, you can print out schemes and you can watch video and I am sure you will create this element and uh, this will be really nice result for you. So next one single crochet to the upper part of this double crochet. Next one stitch around this small arch single crochet. Again to the up, uh, upper part make single crochet around the arch again work with this stitch below two threads insert your hook and make single crochet again around the arch now again to this upper part below two threads make single crochet and around the arch now like you remember we made here half double crochet so around just to the upper part below two threads make a single crochet stitch now at this turning we have two chain loops around them we need to make five single crochet stitches so let's do this first one just around to the same point insert your hook make second single crochet stitch now third stitch number four and the last one stitch number five and now we go to this side uh, here we have half double crochet so to this point uh, we have one thread, just insert hook below and make single crochet. Next, around this arch, make one single crochet. Again, we have here double crochet, so below this one thread, make single crochet. Around the arch, one single crochet. Again, where we have double crochet, make single crochet. Around the arch, double, uh, so, sorry, single crochet. To this point where we have double crochet, we have one thread, make single crochet around the arch. Also one single crochet to this point once again where we have double crochet make single crochet and the last arch here we have two chain loops that's why we should make here two single crochet stitches just around. Now slip stitch somewhere here <laughs> near yes a turn your work and like you remember this time we will use back loops in our stitches and we will make single crochet stitches so insert hook just like this below one thread this one uh, loop that we have at the front side and make standard single crochet stitch take next one thread like this and make also single crochet and this row is very simple just we will make the same number of stitches like in previous row yes we will work with each stitch of previous row just this one design is interesting because we are using only front loops in our stitches that's all so do, do not make it tight uh, a little bit loose very accurate and go around and work with each stitch it's very simple after i will show you how to finish this row we will finish here and we will start to make the last row with beautiful picots so i made the last stitches now just here i will make slip stitch to this point just to fix this row 
and now we need to turn our work and we will make the last row with beautiful picots and this time we will use all the time back loops in our stitches of previous row just this thread i will show you now this one you see we have two loops so we will use this back loop all the time Let's see how to show you better and now And now, my friends, let's work. Uh, first, take this back loop in our first stitch, make single crochet like this. Next, also take this back loop, make single crochet. Now, stitch number three, stitch number four, and stitch number five. Now, we will make small picot from three chain loops. One, two, three. Insert hook below two threads that you have at the front side and draw through all these loops at once. Now again work with back loops and make step by step. Um, I think five, I will check. One, two, yes, five uh, single crochet stitches step by step. So we have first stitch. Now take this thread at back loop and make second stitch after third and stitch number four and stitch number five now again i will make pico from switching loops one two three insert hook below two threads that we have at the front side draw thread through this two loops and through this one and now we go to the top point so step by step i will make a little bit loose four single crochet stitches and each time i am taking only back loop just to create beautiful design and now we have four single crochet stitches at the top point we will make again three picots journey together so start from switching loops insert hook below two threads at the front side finish to make this picot now again switching loops insert hook below the same two threads that we have at the front side draw threads for everything and again switching loops and insert hook below two threads that we have at the front side and finish to make the last picot and now uh, i will fix um, this uh, three picots at the same point i will make once again single crochet to the same point and next step by step i will make three more single crochet stitches so like this in total i made four four single crochet now pico from uh, switching loops finish to make this pico and step by step make five single crochet stitches and each time don't forget to use only back loop in stitches of previous row three and four now make the last pico around this small part switching loops insert hook below two threads finish to make this pico and now the last five um single crochet stitches and next we will make slip stitch so we have three four and the last one now we need to make two slip stitches uh, not tight a little bit loose first one and second one very close to this base so here i will make second one and now again we will go around this base we will create three rows this is the biggest one so don't forget to use a color it scheme print out it from our uh, yes from our pdf lesson and uh, you will clearly see how many stitches you should make so let's start first around this part like always two single crochet stitches one and two because we have here two chain loops now to the upper part of this double crochet below two threads make single crochet around this small arch one single crochet next one around the arch one to the stitch again one single crochet around the arch one single crochet like we did before to the upper part of stitch again one single crochet around the arch one to the stitch around the arch next will be and we have here half double crochet stitch to the upper part below two threads insert your hook and make also a single crochet stitch like this and now we have here at the upper part uh, two chain loops and around this part we need to make uh, five uh, five stitches so let's do this 
insert hook below two threads it's like a small arch and make a single crochet again around the same arch second stitch now third fourth and fifth now we go to this side where we have stitch we have here also one chain one thread so around this one thread make single crochet now around the arch also single crochet around this one thread single crochet around the arch now again around this one thread around the arch again around this thread make single crochet and around this arch again around this one thread and around this and here we have also one thread and the last part is two chain loops we have here in previous row so two single crochet stitches and make a slip stitch to join to the middle part turn your work and now we will work only with front loops and we will make the same number of stitches like we have in previous row so everything is very simple just insert hook each time below this front uh, loop only and make single crochet and work with each stitch of previous row that's all i will do like this and after i will show you how to finish this row and how to make the last row around this part of beautiful leaf kayana and now i almost finished to make this row uh, i need to make one more just uh, single crochet around this loop and a slip stitch to this point i need to fix this row turn now this work and we will make the last row with picots and this time uh, we will use only back loops yes back loop i mean this one this is a back loop in each stitch so let's start first i will make few uh, single crochet stitches step by step just uh, do like this insert hook below this back loop and make single crochet again and uh, we will make like this and after uh, we should make four four stitches one two three and four now i will make first pico from three chain loops so one two three chain loops insert hook below two threads that we have at the front side yarn over draw through everything and through working loop and now continue to make single crochet stitches first one take back loop only second one third fourth number five and number six and uh, i will check on the scheme four five six seven eight okay so uh, we have right now six stitches i will make two more in total eight stitches and now we can make a pico from switching loops once again so switching loops insert hook like this below two threads draw through two loops and one now we'll go to the top point so we start to make again this um yes a single crochet stitches and do first one after second one third and stitch number four and we reach to the middle point here we will make again three picots journey together so switching loops insert hook below two threads that we have at the front side again one two switching loops insert hook below two threads make single crochet and again switching loops insert hook below two threads finish to make the last pico and now we will fix everything by making single crochet to the same point yes and now step by step i will make three more single crochet stitches and i will use all the time only back loops in in stitches of previous row now pick off from three chain loops and again make eight single crochet stitches step by step so we have three four five six seven and the last one eight and now i will make pico from switching loops finish to make this pico and now we need to make the last four single crochet stitches and we will finish to work around this third base we have two three and four and now two slip stitches just to cross this area and we will reach to the base number four so make first slip stitch not tight 
and second one very close to the next base, like this, make a second slip stitch. Now again we will work around this part. We start like always from two single crochet stitches around first arch. After to the top of this double crochet below two threads, insert a hook and make single crochet next. Single crochet around this arch and single crochet to the stitch. Around the arch and to the top of the stitch. Again around the arch and to the top of the stitch. Around the arch and to this half double crochet stitch insert below two threads that we have at the front side and make this single crochet. Next uh, we have here two chain loops and we will work around. We need to make uh, five single crochet stitches around. First stitch, second one like this. Now I will make third one. Now around this point, third stitch, stitch number four, stitch number five. And now we will work with this side where we have double crochet. We have here one thread, yes, in this chain. So work around this one thread, make single crochet. Next around this arch, single crochet. To this point, once again, around this one thread, make also single crochet around the arch. One stitch to this point, also one stitch around the arch. One single crochet to this point, also one single crochet around this arch. Single crochet to this point, also. And around the last arch, two single crochet stitches. And now slip stitch to this point. We will join, turn your work. And now we will work only with front loops. And we will make the same number of stitches like we have here in previous row, yes? So insert hook below this loop that we have at the front and make single crochet. Each time work like this. Single crochet and just very simple. And now I will go around, I will make the same number of stitches like we have in previous row. Just don't forget to use only front loops and make everything not tight, especially where you have this turning, yes? I will continue to do this and after we will create last stitches together and we will make the last row together. So let's work. And now my friends, I finished to make stitches, now just joining to this part. I will make a slip stitch one stitch to fix this row and now we need to turn our work and make the last row around this part with beautiful picots so this time we will use only back loops in our stitches of previous row yes like this only back loops and make a first few i will tell you how many are five five we should make i think in this part yes five stitches step by step and use only front loops Sorry, back loops, only back loops. Second stitch, and now I will make three more. So we have two, now take this back loop and make third stitch. Take the back loop, make stitch number four, and the last stitch number five. And after we need to make picot from switching loops. One, two, three. Insert hook below two threads draw through this thread through this working loop and now again five stitches step by step two three four and five and again make picot from switching loops one two three insert hook below two threads at the front side finish to make this picot and now we will go to the upper part to the top point we should make four stitches step by step don't forget to use only back loops in stitches of previous row so I made four make them a little bit loose and now three picots together so switching loops finish to make first picot again switching loops insert hook below two threads and make second picot again switching loops and make picot number three now uh, go around just I need I think we need to fix uh -huh, yes, we need to fix this three picots to the same point. I will make one more single crochet stitch and now step by step make three more single crochet stitches. Use only back loops in stitches of previous row. Next picot from switching loops. Finish to make this picot and next five stitches step by step and use back loops only. 
two stitches, three stitches, four and five. Now pico from three chain loops, one, two, three, insert hook below two threads and make pico. Next, uh, first single crochet, second one, third, number four, and the last number five. Now we will make two slip stitches and we will reach to the last part of our beautiful element. So may, uh, just make two slip stitches step by step. First one and second one very close to the base, slip stitch. And now again around this first arch make two single crochet stitches. To the top of this stitch below two threads make single crochet. Around the arch single crochet to the top single crochet around the arch single crochet to the stitch also around the small arch next one also one and now we have half double crochet so to the upper part make below two threads single crochet and now five stitches around yes three four and five and uh, now uh, we will go to this side where we have stitch, we have one thread, so work around this one thread, single crochet around the arch, single crochet around one thread, single crochet around the arch, around this one thread, around the arch, around this thread, and this is the last arch, so make uh, two single crochet stitches, and now slip stitch uh, to this point and just fix this row. Now turn your work. And this time we will work with front loops only with each stitch of previous row. Just very simply make single crochet stitches and work only with front loops. That's all. And we will make the same number of stitches like we have in previous row. Just be careful where you have this turning, make everything a little bit loose. Yes. In such way you will get better result make it a little bit loose so in such way i will finish to make this row and together with you we will make the last part of this element so let's work and now i finish you to make all stitches joining here by just make a slip stitch and turn your work we will make the last part uh, this will be row with picots and we will use all the time only back loops so start from uh, four stitches and use only back loop each time. So we have three stitches and four. And now pico from uh, three chain loops. I will check just one moment, please. So we have, yes. Now pico from uh, three chain loops and make again four single crochet stitches, two, and back loop four and again one two three uh, three chain loops finish to make this pico and next make four single crochet step by step two three stitches and four stitches now we are working in the middle again three picots journey together so first pico second pico and third and now we will make step by step four single crochet stitches and again work only with these back loops second stitch third and stitch number four now pico from three chain loops one two three finish to make this pico and again make step by step four single crochet stitches and use only back loops second stitch third and stitch number four and now one two three chain loops finish to make this pico and again one two three and the last stitch uh, single crochet stitch this will be in total four single crochet stitches and now the last slip stitch and yes near to this point we have here and make a slip stitch 
one more chain, leave tail around 20-25 centimeters and cut the thread, yes, just like this, and draw thread to this direction just to fix, I will show you now, uh, just draw to this direction to fix our thread very good and make it tight now we have two tails they should be like this 25 or something like this length it will be uh, just uh, good to hide them yes this length will be perfect now insert this tail uh, to the needle with big eye and now we will insert this needle here where we have a lot of stitches and we will hide our thread we will fix it very good so let's see, I will take some area around one and a half or two centimeters in the middle of stitches and carefully just draw this needle to this direction. And after we need to pull out this tail, yes, like this, in this area we fix it our thread. Now turn your element in the same area, insert needle once again in the same place just we are changing direction yes of our work and draw again carefully this needle like this and draw all these threads because i have three threads and now third time in the same place insert needle and just change direction and now we will uh, fix our tail very very good three times i am doing like this because it's viscous, it's a little bit slippery. And now we can cut this tail very close to the lace. That's all. First tail, uh, we fix it. And now the second one. Again, take needle, insert this thread to this uh, needle. And now uh, we will choose area where to hide the thread. We can take this area where we have a lot of stitches and insert hook like this in the middle of stitches take area around one and a half or two centimeters and now carefully just draw this uh, thread to this direction yes and now i will insert hook in the same area just change direction in the middle of stitches and draw uh, to this i will just make them all in the same length this all threads and draw to this direction yes now like this and once again uh, in the same area just change direction of your work insert this needle and draw to this direction and this will be the third time just make it carefully slowly not tight and now i can cut this tail very close after now i can iron and stretch this element by using steam iron and i will show you the result we finished it to make this element so let's look to the result so now, my friends, you can see this awesome result is so beautiful, soft, uh, incredible color. Don't forget, you can find this thread in our store. It's a new color of Itali Italian viscous. And just to look to this beautiful uh, leaf Kayana. Fantastic design. Uh, perfect, I think, uh, to use for beautiful projects. You can make it in few colors. You can make it with transition of colors. Also, uh, you can create a lot of elements like this and you can create composition. It, it will be really gorgeous and you can see closer also this all stitches uh, like you remember we used uh, front loops and back loops so that's why uh, we received result like this yes awesome result and uh, don't forget you can and uh, don't forget you can download Colorage schemes, instructions in English, and you can watch video tutorials for free. Uh, just use the link below this video and you will go to our Patreon page. I made for you special post. It's open for everyone. There you will see a link to download PDF file with colorage schemes and instructions. And also you will see links to watch video tutorials. And I wish you gorgeous results, beautiful elements like this. I hope you will make them with big pleasure because uh, tutorials are really understandable and easy to follow don't forget to follow our patreon page because i will add a lot of uh, free tutorials and you will get a lot of useful information so follow our page join our crochet community i will be very happy to see you there and also uh, i will be happy to see your results you can send your results to my email you will find it below this video uh, so my friends thank you so much for your attention i wish you a gorgeous results big inspiration and see you very soon at the next videos bye bye for now